Soka Bounce Fitness and Okima Henderson is one of the co-founders of this fitness program. Thanks for joining us early this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Okay, we've been out here for more than an hour. If you're just tuning in, uh, we are hyped up. Tell me about the origins of this uh, this fitness program. How did how did Soka Bounce come come to be? Um, Soka Bounce came to be because I was a rebounder, which is meaning using the kangaroo jumps boots mm -hmm. uh, for fitness classes. Um, I always participate in Caribbean carnivals. Um, have done it for many years and wanted something different. So I decided to use the boots and incorporate what later became Carnival Bounce Crew. And I figured, well, how am I going to get people to know what carnivals are? Sure. So I figured a fitness class would do it. So I started doing a class with Soka Music, incorporating music from the Caribbean, and that's how we got started. Okay, so you've probably heard Soka Music in like a, a Zumba class or maybe other fitness classes. You have. But you'll hear a lot more of it if you come to a Soka Bounce fitness class. You do. Yes, yes. We incorporate a lot of the music from the Caribbean. It's based off of a lot of the Soka artists um, that are around um, St. Martin, um, Trinidad and Tobago, um, you know, um, Grenada, you know, everywhere. They have uh, every every island has Soka artists sure. there. It sounds like it's, there's a big uh, Afro Latino vibe to it is what it is. That too. We have Afro beats. Um, we also do Afro beats in our classes as well. It's cool. not strictly to the Caribbean. Um, we play R&B. We have American um, music as well. Um, so we do a lot. It's, it's, it's all encompassing. Okay. And real quick, tell me about the uh, Carnival or Carnival Bounce Crew. What do you do there? Right. So the Carnival Bounce Crew, as you see, I'm in a Carnival costume. Sure. Um, so this is what we do. Carnival costumes. We are fitness-minded masqueraders on rebound boots, taking your carnival mask to the next level. So we participate in carnivals on the boots, which means you're in a, basically a parade um, throughout the Caribbean. Uh, we do Miami's carnival. They have some statewide. Baltimore has a carnival as uh -huh, well. Uh -huh. um, so the Soka Bounce Fitness basically trains you up to get you prepared for the Carnival Bounce crew if you decide to do that. Sure. Otherwise, it's just a great workout. Well, now, what's the phone number if they, they want to contact yes, you? Yes, if you want to contact me, it's 301-357-357. Um, 5388. Also on IG, it's Carnival Bounce Crew with a K. So Carnival Bounce Crew. We also have a chapter out of Florida that is my twin sister that heads up that chapter. Okay, yeah, and you can follow me on Instagram and all that. Yes. And then uh, I've got them tagged on there too. But let's get to the forecast. Thanks for joining us early all this right. morning. If you guys want to dance it up, uh, or sorry, fitness, get your fitness on this morning. Yes, uh, we'll fitness. talk about that forecast. Let's go to that <laughs> future cast. We'll start there. Dry skies in the morning here today and temperatures rising into the 50s and 60s through midday. Day. This afternoon, we're tracking that rain. Maybe as far east as, say, uh, Hagerstown, Martinsburg, Charlestown, and Frederick by 2, 3 o'clock, and then getting into Metro Washington through Leesburg, Gaithersburg, and finally over to the district and Upper Marlboro by about 5, 6 o'clock. So it could impact your evening commute here. We may go with a yellow weather alert this evening. Not worried about uh, a lot of thunder and certainly not severe weather, but some gusty winds as these showers move through with this cold front. By midnight, this, this stuff is to the south and east, still in southern Maryland, and then clearing away beyond that, heading into tomorrow morning. Temperatures are only in the 30s tomorrow morning. Bundle up. Here's your three day outlook. Possible yellow weather alert this evening. We go 72 with evening showers today, down to 50 Friday and 51 Saturday, and mid upper 50s on Sunday. Weekend looks okay. It's just a little on the chilly side, a little below average for November. And then as we roll into next week, we've got more rain to deal with, mainly Sunday evening, Monday morning. So if you're leaving for the Thanksgiving holiday, you may run into that late Sunday into Monday. Otherwise, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're cold and windy but dry weather prevails across the DMV. All right, we're still here live in Upper Marlboro. They're going to try to show me some fitness moves in just a yeah. few minutes, so stay close here. We'll yes. see you in the next half hour of Get Up DC. Michelle?